Taxonomy by Natasha Trethewey After a series of Costa paintings by Juan Rodriguez Suarez, 1715 Juan de Español de India produce mestizo The canvas is a leaden sky Behind them, heavy with words Gold letters inscribing an equation of blood this plus this, as if a contract with nature or a museum label, ethnographic, precise. See how the father's hand beneath its crown of lace curls around his daughter's head. She's nearly fair as he is, Calidad. See it in the brooch at her collar, the lace, framing her face. An infant, she is born over the servant's left shoulder, bound to him by a sling, the plain blue cloth knotted at his throat. If the father, his hand on her skull, divines as the physiognomist does, the mysteries of her character, discursive, legible on her light flesh, in the soft curl of her hair, the eye, we cannot know it, so gentle the eye he turns toward her. The mother, glancing sideways toward him, the scarf on her head white as his face, his powdered wig, gestures with one hand a shape like the letter C. See, she seems to say, what we have made. The servant, still a child, cranes his neck, turns his face up toward all of them. He is dark as history, origin of the word native. The weight of blood, a pale mistress on his back, heavier every year. Two, de Spagnoli Nigra produce mulatto. Still, the centuries have not dulled the sullenness of the child's expression. If there is light inside him, it does not shine through the paint that holds his face in profile, his domed forehead, eyes nearly closed beneath a heavy brow. Though inside, the boy's father stands in his cloak and hat. It's as if he's just come in or that he's leaving. We see him, transient, rolling a cigarette, myopic, his eyelids drawn against the child passing before him. At the stove, the boy's mother contorts, watchful, her neck twisting on its spine, red beads yoked at her throat like a necklace of blood. Her face so black she nearly disappears into the canvas, the dark wall upon which we see the words that name them. What should we make of any of this? Remove the words above their heads, put something else in place of the child, a table, perhaps, upon which a man might set his hat or a dog upon which to bestow the blessing of his touch, and the story changes. The boy is a palimpsest of paint, layers of color, history, rendering him that precise shade of in-between. Before this, he was nothing blank canvas, before image or word before a last brush stroke fixed him in his place. De Spaniole Mestiza Produce Castiza. How not to see in this gesture the mind of the colony. In the mother's arms, the child hinged at her womb dark cradle of mixed blood, call it Mexico, turns towards the father, 
reaching to him, as if back to Spain, to the promise of blood alchemy. Three easy steps to purity. From a Spaniard and an Indian, a mestizo. From a mestizo and a Spaniard, a castizo. From a castizo and a Spaniard, a Spaniard. We see her here, one generation away, nearly slipping her mother's careful grip. The Book of Castas. Call it the catalogue of mixed bloods, or the blood of not, not Spaniard, not white, but mulatto returning backwards, or hold yourself in midair and the morisca, the lobo, the chino, the sambo, albino, and the no te entendiendo, the I don't understand you, guidebook to the colony, record of each crossed birth. It is the typology of taint, of stain, blemish, sullying spot, that which can be purified, that which cannot. Canaan's black fate, how like a dirty joke it seems. What do you call that space between the dark geographies of sex? Call it taint, as in taint one and taint the other, illicit and yet naming still what is between. Between her parents, the child, mulatto returning backwards, cannot slip their hold. The triptych their bodies make in paint, in blood, her name written down in the book of castas, all her kind enthrall to a word. <laughs>